Hey man, what's up? It's your boy Marlo. Right now, I just jumped off the pole, you did? PLK style. VVS, but guess all on my neck, yeah. Soaking wet, yeah. I'm the shit, get a plumber. Running through these. Marlo, welcome to Off the Ports, man. Hey, man. I'm doing good, man. Glad you're here, man. Been working on this for a minute with you, man. For sure. So, uh, what you brought with you, man? It's the first for us here yeah, at DGB, man. man. Bag full of money, man. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, I see some fives and tens, man. This ain't no rap yeah, money. <laughs> let you know, uh, real life. That's all I try to uh, live by. Yeah, yeah. I live um, by, die by. Yeah. Real life. Keep, How much would you say you brought with yeah. you today? Now, even though it's five to ten, I still just put them in. Like, each rubber band is a thousand, you feel me? Okay. Like, so it's down all the way. Like, yeah. as if it was. The only high end, like, if you see, like, big rubber band, like, it'd be five thousand. Uh -huh. I mean, I still make a thousand, so it yeah. doesn't matter how it is. <laughs> all money, you know? Yeah. Money, all money, money coming in. I spent. Yeah. All right, let's, um, let's start off with talking about your new single, uh, Soaking Wet. This thing's going crazy yeah. right now. One of the hottest singles in the street. That's, summer hit. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's a real good summer hit. You knew this was going to be a big song, huh? Get what I did, like, but I ain't, I ain't going to lie, I did. <laughs> I ain't going to need Kepi now. I, I knew it was going to be rock. Yeah, you got Offset featured on here. You got the City Girls on there. Yeah. Um, no. And the one thing that stuck out to me is that this is a club song. This ain't a trap song that you're usually known for. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm actually known for it, like my trap music, like mm -hmm. the street music that I put out. And, and actually, like, when I made the song, I was in the studio with Hitmaker. Okay. So, like, it was just, we was talking about girls and, hmm. and I mean, like, the song actually a conversation. Yeah. So, I just put the conversation into the song and, and, and came out some special. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. You gonna make more uh, records for the clubs after this yeah. one? Yeah. I'm actually gonna like cater to more women. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And go get more women fans than yeah. male fans. Yeah, the women fans are very loyal, yeah, you know? Yeah, they loyal. They gonna show up to yeah, the show, they I gonna mean, stream all your songs. The, the males don't be too loyal, man. <laughs> they, they hot, they hot. They worse than the women now, they. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm and uh, women we miss me. I'm with the women. Yeah. Nah, for real. And you had the soaking wet challenge. This thing went viral online. Yeah. You guys got some crazy videos. Of, for sure. Um, what, which which one did you stick out the most to you? Was it the winner with the cereal and the and the milk? Yeah, like the way I picked the winner. Like I ain't just actually pick. Like yeah, I went to. Like we was in the spot and we would, I asked like my people like who y'all think should win. Yeah. And like it went well it wasn't just me and like I called baby who you think should win. I called P who you think should win. Like and I ain't want to just give to nobody who already got something going on. Yeah. And I yeah. already got some money and uh, nah, yeah. I ain't want to give nobody like that. Yeah. How many videos would you say you got? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even counting that. <laughs> Still had to ask my manager. Yeah. It was a good amount. I could imagine you guys got like a thousand or so, you, you know? What? All type of video, man. <laughs> you know, they sent me some video that they didn't want, want, want me to post, but <laughs> man, it was all love. They sent you some private videos yeah, yeah, just for your wanted, eyes? They just wanted me to see it. Some little private video. Yeah. What was the most ridiculous or outrageous video that you got in return? Um, actually, like, I said like the the little white girl, hmm. like everybody meet me all them, they would come in and laugh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She yeah. went crazy. She yeah, she went crazy. She tried. <laughs> yeah. I give it to her. She tried, she still sitting by a thousand or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh what did the winner get? The winner got what, ten thousand? Yeah. Yeah. She got ten thousand. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy. Did you already meet her and uh, give her the, the prize money? Um I had went live with her. Like one, okay. One, I let Baby announce the winner. Okay. So once we announced the one, I went live with her. Then I sent the money, like, probably like the next day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, we sent the wire the money. Told her, just send me the info, and we sent the money out to her. What was she her? Got it though. 
Yeah, what was her reaction when you reached out and told her that she had won? Yeah, she she would have yeah. who wanna be happy winning no team. Yeah. Free I would dance. Have been happy. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? For real. <laughs> All right, uh you've been rapping for two years now, but it seems like right now you're more motivated than ever on your music yeah, career. Like I've been rapping for two years, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, I ain't take music seriously for two years. Like, mm. I ain't I can't say like I took music seriously the whole way. Yeah. Cause like I was like one foot in, one foot out, but yeah. now I'm two foot in. Mm. So you know, it's I'm here now. Yeah. Was there a specific event or conversation that led you to, you know, taking yeah, it more serious you know, this like, time around? Like young thug. Okay. Like, he be on me heavy. Like, yeah. Call me every day and be mm. trying to preach and all that. So you know. I got a lot of people in my ear, like P. He, yeah, my little man. Ooh. Then, like when I had it, like when I made something with, I ain't yeah. let P. Head first. Huh? I had let Coach Coach K. Head. Yeah. So Coach K, when I let Coach K. Head, he was like, he all vert, like, oh yeah, that's a hit. Ooh. Hmm. So Hitmaker was Hitmaker was in the studio with the uh, the R and B girl, P. J. Sign. Okay. Yeah. They was in the studio work and and hit maker was like just telling P like you know somebody who hard like everybody be slipping on hmm. like he hard though yeah and P was like who who like thinking like I mean I might need to go check him out Ooh. yeah so hit maker was like Marlo hmm. like, you know P what man I been telephone for yet man I'm telling you man Marlo hard man he just don't be taking it serious man. Man, somebody need to tell Marlo, he need to take this serious, man. I'm telling Marlo hard, man. <laughs> it went from there. And I, they called me and I pulled up. So soon I walk in, P like, uh, hit make with Taylor, uh, P like, listen to this. Then he played it. Ooh, he like, that Marlo? Uh, <laughs> boy, you bad, Why we could have been out of here? Why, what wrong with you, boy? <laughs> I'm like, man, listen, bro, you ain't my daddy, bro. Look, you need to stop yelling at me, man. What wrong with you, man? <laughs> Did the record have Offset and the City Girls nah, on it at that point? It was just you at that yeah. point. It was, Alvert, they was there, like, as soon as they heard me on, they like, oh, yeah, that's a hit. Yeah. And I actually sent it. Me, me baby, the City Girl, like, we went on tour. Hmm. I told yeah. um, Young Miami, I was like, I got a song I, want, I need you to get on she like, bro, you know, ain't no problem. Like, yeah. you know, whatever you need me to do. Yeah. So when we got out tour, she she hit, like, send the record to me. Ooh. Mm. I sent the record. She sent it right back. Yeah. So when she sent it back, me, P, it was somebody else. We was in our listening to it. But while we listened to it, we just listened to the song and listened to her verse. Mm. And I was just so having to come in the studio with like, mm. Who song this is? It's hard. <laughs> I'm like, that's my song. He's like, oh boy, you gotta let me get on there. I ain't, I ain't letting you tell me no. Like, no, ain't no answer. Like, I'm telling you, I gotta get on there. Yeah. This, this one on one. Yeah. I like, go, you know that. I'm like, oh boy, I'll say, go ahead. Yeah, you're not gonna object to that, huh? <laughs> I wasn't gonna tell him no anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't had to tell him. You ain't had to say all that. It was a go ahead. Yeah. 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 But, all right, um, and you made your name in the streets here in the, on the west side of Atlanta yeah. um, before you ever started rapping. Um, for sure. What's the transition been like for you going from the streets to rap? Long nights. Hmm. Long, long nights. Like, you know, standing in the studio all night. Yeah. Going to sleep late. Like, coming out late. Yeah. Like, long night. You know, I'm just grinding, though. I ain't tripping. Yeah. I'm used to it. Yeah. Yeah, in the streets, you know, like I said, you, you built yeah. a big name yeah, for yourself yeah. out there. My name there. already ring bells, like, do some street stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm already ringing bells on that, right? Yeah. No, I'm just trying to transition to ringing bells a different way, you feel? Yeah. Has it been easy transitioning, yeah. being like the new face of, you know, yeah, being true. like a new rapper? I ain't tripping. I had to be new to the block before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
What was the hardest thing to let go from the streets? <laughs> the money. The money. <laughs> mm. That street money. Yeah. I got an urge for it. Yeah. <laughs> Call my name sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But you know, rappers get paid quite well too, you know? Yeah, but it's a different type of feeling. Yeah. Like, oh God. Like, how, how rappers just get fresh and go hit the stage or go shoot video. Mm -hmm. Like, where I'm from, we get fresh just to go to a spot and yeah. like, just to go to a spot and work. Like, get digging fresh. Mm -hmm. Three, four thousand all outfit just to go count money all day. Yeah. Like, it been my lifestyle. Yeah. Mm hmm I'm used to it. Yeah, we can see it. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, this for real. This ain't no no prop type. Yeah. I ride around with a bag full of money all the time. Hmm. I call somebody right now and there. Yeah. yeah. What's the most money you've ever spent in a day? Like a hundred. Hundred thousand? A hundred. Hmm. hundred racks. What'd you buy that day? A truck. A truck? Yeah. <laughs> Check out. I wrecked yeah. in three days. Yeah. I wrecked the truck. I you wrecked died. the truck in three days. What? Oh, God. <laughs> I got a big old cut in my feet. Mm. Mm. How long ago was that? About a year. About a year ago. I'm gonna oh, cut shit, yeah. Feet off. Huh. Spent the hunt to cut my feet off. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure to kill. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I almost killed myself. It's all love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was the biggest lesson you learned in the streets? Never get caught. Don't get caught? <laughs> yeah. You've never been to prison before, huh? Hell no, nah, I ain't gone. Hmm. For what? Hmm. I'm a player. Hmm. Ain't going to prison. That's hmm. a sucker. Do you consider yourself lucky that you avoided prison this far? I consider myself blessed. Hmm. I got you. I got you. All right, so how does the music business compare to the streets? I just say like a lot of stuff that go on in the street won't go on in the music. Like, hmm. like somebody can trick you in a contract. Oh yeah. And you can't really do nothing about it. Yeah. Cause it's on you to sign that contract. Like, just say like, right now, just say if I come want to sign you, you don't know that you're a superstar really. Mm -hmm. But in my head, I'm thinking like, yeah, he's a superstar. Yeah. And I stick. Twenty, thirty thousand of these dollars in your face, you don't have no money. Hmm. Of course you're gonna be like, Oh boy, I need that money. Ooh, yeah. ooh, I'm signed. Yeah. But in on Jeopardy, I'm finna make three million off of <laughs> Yeah. I, I already got the money. I can risk the money already, you feel me? I can risk it with you and, and, and actually make them three million. I can give these thirty me thirty thousand and make three million. Oh, um, but it's on you. Yeah. Once you sign that contract, ain't nothing you can do about it. Yeah. He ain't put no gun to you and say, oh, boy, you got to sign it. Yeah. You did it. William Free, like, got your contract on your lawyer to read. However. So it's on you. But, yeah. You know, it'd be different. I don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't got that problem. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say the streets uh, prepared you for the music industry? The streets prepared me for life, period. Hmm. Like, I learned a lot in the streets. Yeah. But, you know, I was one of them people, like, like, I can learn from you. Like, hmm. off your mistake. Like, you go to chain gang. Yeah. I'm like, I ain't going to chain gang. Hmm. So, where I see that you went wrong at, I don't go wrong at. I might watch him and see where he went right, and I'm going to go right like him. Hmm. Or see what he went wrong. I ain't gonna go wrong like him. You feel? Yeah. Like, that's how I learned my way through life. You feel? I ain't have to go. I can't tell you no chain gang story. You feel me? Cause mm -hmm. I ain't been to chain gang. I be saying her line like, "Oh boy, I'm a chain gang vet." <laughs> hell no, nigga. <laughs> I'm smart as hell, nigga. I ain't going no goddamn chain gang. The fuck I look like? I'm a player, I like pussy. I don't like being around niggas. I stay with my hoe all day. <laughs> Near me. Yeah. I leave the spot and go with a girl. I ain't with that. Yeah. I like being comfortable. Can't nobody tell me what to do. Ain't gone. 
So get with I'm smart enough to not go or put myself in a position where I got to go, you feel? Mm-hmm. I can tell you how to get money, and I can yeah. tell you how not to get caught. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can tell you these stuff. Hmm. I've been in the hardest of the hardest. I'm yeah. from born home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Front of nine. Yeah. So, hey, man, I can tell you, like, hey, man, I know how to survive in the jungles, you feel? Mm-hmm. You know, some people just be lucky enough not to get caught. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to know. I can tell you that stuff. Yeah. I can't tell you. Oh, boy. I went down and stopped a million niggas. <laughs> no. Let me tell you something else. So I can't tell you that one. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. Um, do you have any advice for other street people who's coming into the rap game? Man, get your money, man. Get up out on, and that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Get the dough. <laughs> Get up out of it. What would you do after rap? Invest in stuff. Yeah. Like, like, I'd be more like trying to invest in like, you know how ain't nobody know about Lyft. Yeah. Or uh, Uber type stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I be trying to just really catch on to, like, what's going to come out that's going to be in the yeah. band. In the band. Mm-hmm. So I be, like, on to that. Invest in. Yeah. Especially, in, like, things that we need every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Houses, cars, I mean, food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These are things that's in demand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what I be going into. Yeah. I'm into them already, but yeah. you know I be super deeply into them. Like, hmm. Got millions of dollars out of music. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I, mm. Yeah. Now that's smart. That's what Chameleon Air did. I think he was an early investor in Lyft. Exactly. Yeah, he's up there. What? He's saying, way he, past hey, rap money at this point. What? They say Chameleon. You know? <laughs> that boy. That, so you yeah, on the same man. type of uh, same tip, huh? What? I got you. All right. That boy left. Yeah. Um, you credit Big Bank for um, getting you to start rapping, right? Yeah. That was really took me to my first time going to the studio. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want to go. He forced me to really go. Hmm. But uh, it was Big cool. Bang, you know? <laughs> yeah, he always trying to force somebody to do something. Did, was that more just to kind of get you out of the streets? Yeah. The first time he seen me, you know, the first time he actually, me and Bank actually seen each other. You know, my name ring bells, mm-hmm. like, on some street stuff, so, you know, yeah, he know who I am. Yeah. Like, but, you know, we don't know each other. Mm-hmm. So when we actually meet each other, you know, I tell him my name, like, oh, that who this is. You feel me? Like, oh, you little shawty got yeah. name ring bell. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, cool, we chopping it up. And we we continue to stay in contact. You know, he said, like, bro, you're a superstar. Because I told you, I asked to ride around with money. I look good, smell good. Yeah. Keep money in my pocket. Drive nice cars. Yeah. No, he's like, bro, you're a superstar. You, you need to be a rapper. <laughs> I told you, you got me fucked up, man. <laughs> you know, rap. What I look like. You had never thought about rapping Hell before no. then, huh? And not in my life. <laughs> Cause I already knew it out. Like, I ain't want to be no rapper. Yeah. Cause I'm like, I don't have to do that. I really, I'm doing what they talking about. Yeah. So, we, like, bro, I'm telling you, you need to be a rapper. Call me about a week straight with it. Huh. Keep telling me, bro. I don't want to be no rapper, bro. What the hell wrong with you, man? I got my spot bucking. <laughs> I mean, you gotta rap, nigga. He like, bro, I'm telling you. He called me one day, like, I'm finna come get you. Right. Like, if he would have said, bro, we finna go to the studio, I would have stood his ass up. <laughs> I asked him, he even pick up the phone no more. <laughs> so he came and picked you up, and you didn't, you didn't know he was taking yeah, you to the I studio. I didn't know where the hell we was going. <laughs> so we, um, we leave out the hood, woo, we gonna run. I think we finna go somewhere where he had to go. Yeah. Man, he got his shit set up already, <laughs> engineering up. 
I'm like, hey, bro. <laughs> I hear, I hear the music, so you know, in click in my head, like we have studio, then we going like I, we have studio, but I'm thinking like maybe it's someone else's know, session, right? I know he be rapping a yeah. little too, so I'm like, <laughs> you're probably like what he got going on. So he go to pick a beat. I like who? <laughs> so I'm still just playing along with him, like figuring me out. So I tell him, yeah, yeah, that beat right that hard, so you need to rap on it. <laughs> I like, know nah, you finna rap on. I told her, who? You crazy, man? Why? Why ain't never tried to rap, man? You ain't finna make a fool of me. So he booked this whole session for you? Yeah. Okay, okay. So I like, all right, come on. Pop me a perk. <laughs> Smoke me some weed. Then I made set up my own set up shot record. Yeah, okay. That was the first song yeah, you recorded? That was my first song I recorded. Holy shit. That shit was hard. Yeah, man. <laughs> He like, um, I told you, man, you're a superstar, man. I told you you need rap. I'm like, man, hey, I'm not, you're not cheating. <laughs> did you write that record or did you just punch in? Punch in. Just punch in? Yeah, actually, the, um, the engineer. Yeah. Like, everybody, like, everything I said, you just kept it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of pieced it together, yeah. huh? Did you know anything about counting bars or anything hey, like that? Yeah, I didn't know what the hell that <laughs> shit was, man. Treat me into their whole. So how many songs did you do that first day? Was it just that one? One. Yeah. I wasn't trying to do no song. That was the project. I didn't want to be there. So yeah. what did you think of the song though when you first recorded it? You know, at first, I mean, it cool. Yeah. Then I asked this to like, man, that shit real hard. <laughs> then I, I called baby. I'm like, bro, I hit him with the same line. So at this point, Baby wasn't rapping, Nah, right? he wasn't rapping. Yeah. One now, one now, no yeah. rap. They weren't trying to tell you. We yeah. went into it. Yeah. We, we already doing what we doing. <laughs> he like, I'm like, bro, you need to go to the studio. You need to rap. <laughs> that, the same thing I told Bank, he told me. I like, man, you better get the hell out of my phone. <laughs> I'm like, Did you bro. let him hear the song? Nah, not at first. Okay. I'm like, bro, you need to rap. I'm telling you, bro. I hit him with the science. Bro, I'm telling you, we got the swag, we got the car, we got the jewelry, we got the money, we got everything that niggas rapping about, bro. I'm telling you, we need to hit him with the whole little line. I'm telling you, bro, bro, I just come out. Bro, I already done went to the studio and made me a song. Huh. He like, for real? <laughs> like, bro, send to him. I sent him a song. He like, oh shit, that motherfucker hard. He like, I gotta go to the studio now. <laughs> so I got him. Um, he go to the studio, he made the, um, that money is the own, uh, uh, yeah. That auction song, yeah. So, damn, why I'm on hard. Both of them, like, I, right, you need to get on my record, you need to go on the own record. <laughs> so, by then, I had something going on. Then, I'm like, bro, you just need to keep rapping, bro. I'm like, yeah. shit, I'm gonna fall back. Hmm. You know what I mean? You just need to keep rapping. So, I just fell back out. I, I fell back for almost a year. Yeah. yeah. I started rapping for like a year. Hmm. So I I've been rapping two years, but shit, I ain't took shit serious. Yeah, I'm just not taking it serious. Yeah, so I don't count. Like <laughs> I've been rapping that long. Yeah, no. And what was it like watching Baby blow up so quickly? You know, he's got all these plaques. I think he's got nine what? billion streams now. He's doing shows overseas. Oh my like, damn! <laughs> you no, know, he called me like, bro. Appreciate it. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, bro, that's the smartest shit you ever made me do. That's the best advice you ever do. gave him, huh? What? He's like, bro, that's the best shit you ever made me do, bro. <laughs> like, hey, yeah, bro, I'm proud of my damn self. <laughs> like, shit, nigga, ain't now one that knew this shit was gonna go that crazy. Yeah. But boy, once it started going crazy, you know, like, yeah, oh, yeah, we straight. Yeah. Whatever now. Does that motivate you to want to sure. go at it too? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm sure if you see he can do it, I'm sure you For know sure you can do man. it as well. Like, you know, I got a couple personal partners in the music, like 21 Savage. Yeah. Like, you know, I thought, like, these are my personal people. So, you know, I seen them do it from ground up for real. Mm hmm. Like, I wasn't rapping when Thug came out. Yeah. Savage came out. I wasn't rapping then. Yeah. I wasn't even trying to rap. You mm -hmm. know, I was just behind whatever they were doing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you mentioned you're from uh, Bowen Holmes. Um, and you had a good, good relationship with Shorty Lowe, right? Yeah. How old were you when you first met him? About three. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we from the same hood, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how much older was he than you? Shit, he was a grown man than me. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was real. I was just a little baby. He walked yeah. around me in there and shit. Yeah. Shit like that. What did like, up? Shout out to them home with my mama and like hmm. aunties and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Hmm. So, you know, I was a little, little cub in the hood. Yeah. 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 So, uh, w- what did low mean to the west side of Atlanta? Man, the west side still crying the river about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was real important to the west side. Yeah. yeah. I was still hurt. Yeah. What would you say is his legacy here in Atlanta? I ain't gonna lie. I be thinking like, damn, boy, what a lower hand I was, like, rapping, like, the way I got a buzz now. Mm-hmm. Like, what if he was here? Like, that shit would be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll be real crazy. Yeah, because you never got a chance to rap with him, right? Nah. He yeah, passed nah. before you started yeah. rapping, right? Yeah. 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 Um, how does his death affect uh, the west side of Atlanta? Who? Shorty Lowe's. Shorty Lowe's death? No, his death. His death. Oh, yeah, that's it. I tell you, that shit, the West, I still crying a river about that one. Yeah. That one hurt to the death. Yeah. Right. You got people feel like they should have died with them on the West Side. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. All right, so um, let me ask you, what are your thoughts on rappers who rap about um, the street life, but who were never active in the streets? I just mind my business. Yeah, if you ain't did it, I don't think you want to do it, really. Hmm. Bro, I ain't going to need life. If I, if I could have took another, I ain't going to lie. I love the street somewhere. I probably will not even took another one. Hmm. Like, because it's all I know for real. Yeah. So, I mean, I ain't going to say, like, I would took another one. But, like, if I grew up in a suburban hood and I wouldn't choose no street life, oh, yeah. no suburban hood, like, shit, do it. Streets trying to get to. Yeah, exactly. How the hell will I be suburban and go try to be street? No, nah, hell no. Nah. I rock about that now, spend this money on yeah. <laughs> yeah, this good life I done had all my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, that's real. All you right. Know, um, keeping it real to keep... with yourself. Like, uh, I was just saying, like, keeping it real with yourself. Yeah. Like, that's what people respect. Mm-hmm. Like, Telling you, like, hey, bro, I don't come from the streets. I come from there. Yeah. Like, yeah. You'll get way more respect for oh, yeah. lying, saying, like, oh, I'm why I come from the hardest of the heart. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, because those lies always catch up to you sooner than later, you, you know? Boy. You can't live a lie forever. <laughs> Hell no, nah, because you're going to have to keep making it. Yeah, exactly. You're going to have to keep creating new lies. Wait. <laughs> no, I learned that one from Chino, my girl. <laughs> Look, <laughs> hey, man, you're going to have to keep making a lie. <laughs> The more you like, you got to keep, you got to constantly make another one. Yeah. Yo, you like, uh, oh, boy, I whip my home, what? She like, uh, man, I call everybody phone, man. <laughs> everybody said that they weren't with you. <laughs> I mean, nah, auntie, shout out drop me off. Man, <laughs> man, you just got to keep lying. <laughs> yeah, just keep digging just yourself a bigger hole, you bigger know? Bigger hole. Yeah. So, hey, just keep that shit real the first time. Look, man, don't have me no question. Um, I'm doing it, that's it. Yeah. Gotta lay your foot down. Yeah. No, that's real. All right. Um, like I mentioned, you signed to QC. Um, what's some of the best advice P or Coach K has given you? Shit, keep going. Don't stop working. Yeah. 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 All right, work pays off. Yeah. Um, what's your next project? First and the third. First and the third? Yeah. All right. You got a release date? No, nah, I ain't got no release date, though. Yeah. But I got a lot of records. Like, we're going to pick on one of these days. Yeah. How many unreleased records say you said, though? Shit, a lot of them. Yeah. Like, that's how, I ain't gonna lie, that's how I started getting better with my music. Cause hmm. I started just going to the studio every day. Yeah. Just making my life revolve around the studio. Yeah. Like, you wanna come hang with me, come to the studio. Yeah. Wanna be around me, come to the studio. Now I start going to the block, go to the studio hmm. every day. I just started switching my life around, like, yeah. All right, look, I ain't going to be in the street. Bro. Go to the yo, go do interview shit like that. Yeah. Like, roll my life around, trying to be successful. You yeah. Know? How you liking it so far? Yeah, uh, it's cool, no. Cool. At first, yeah. I wouldn't even speak, you know. Yeah, I know. I was watching some of your old ones. 
You weren't saying too much, and I saw your recent one would scream, and I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah. I used to be like, wow, who? Cut one from, like, you gotta think. You when gotta be guarded. in the hood, you know, you don't talk much. Mm hmm. So, you know, I'm like, bro, I don't even like to talk for real. Mm hmm. So then coming into the music, like, what are you doing? And you got to talk. Yeah. So, you know, I'm like, man, hell no, man. You trying to be with all that talking. And, Nigga, I don't even like to talk. Yeah. You just got to embrace it. Yeah. So now it's like you got to tell your story where they can buy into your story. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They want to buy into your lifestyle. Yeah. So now you got to talk. You got to tell this. You got to tell it, man. Yeah. But if I was in the hood. I would have been telling you shit the fuck up, man. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I done really done beat some of my partners up for talking too much, man. Hmm. Talk too much. Shut hmm. up. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, going back to this project, the first and the third, you got any features on it you can review? Um, I got shit with, with, with um, Gucci Man on it. Okay. I got shit with Babe on it. Okay. Money bag, yo and black youngster. I got shit with mm. money bag, yo and black youngster on it together. That mm. shit too hard. Mm. I got shit with um, Thug on it. Okay. Donna. Yeah. Thug? I mean, people I know. Yeah. Shit gonna be crazy though. That shit hard as fuck. Yeah. What? I got some solo shit myself. That's too hard. Hmm. What are your expectations when you drop this project? I don't even lie. I'm just gonna let it do what it do. Yeah. I know I'm gonna come out with another one right behind it or uh, like. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm trying. I think I'm gonna drop like two, three tapes before the year and I would. Oh wow. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. You got five months to get them out there then. Yeah, ain't true. Yeah. I got the music out of it. I'm trying to make it. Yeah. Just all about already you know, choosing which one yeah. for which project. Yeah. I yeah. got you. I got you. All right. Uh, let's talk for uh, about your brand, uh, Play for Keeps. What's yeah. the message of your brand? Hey, man. Anything that you're doing, you're playing for keeps. You're going hard in basketball, you're playing for keeps. Yeah. You're playing to win, ain't it? Hmm. The keeps is just, hey, man, I'm playing to win. Yeah. So, you know, we're playing to win around here. I mean, in any aspect of life. Yeah. Sports. Music, streets, like we play to win. Yeah. And things, don't you want to win? Don't you want to be the best? Mm -hmm. Like, my uncle told me, hey man, if you're going to shit scoop, I mean, if you're going to scoop up shit, be the sh best shit scooper it is, you feel me? Hmm. Like, if you're going to do this, be the best at it. Yeah. So, we just like, bro, you know, we playing to win, you know, we playing for keep. Yeah. You plan on t turning it into a label one day too? Yeah, it's all really like. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. You looking to sign new artists someday? Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot, a lot of little artists that we finna bring up. Yeah. Like, we got an artist called um, Young DB. Okay. Yeah. He hard. Is he you from hard. your neighborhood? Um, uh, he actually from my brother's neighborhood. Okay. Okay. He from Allen Temple. Oh, okay. All right. So. Yeah. You no, know, he hard. Yeah. What do you look for when you sign the artist? The real limo. Hmm. I just listen to him uh, and, and just try to go peep the real limo, yeah. talk to him, actually, like sit down and have a conversation and see how they talk, what they mind thinking that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. All right. All right. What else you working on, Marlon? You got the project coming out, single going crazy right now. Yeah, I'm feeling fun. Mm. They got um another single on the compilation finna come out called My Bad. Hmm. Hmm. That shit. Everybody keep um wanting me to drop. He done took my damn song. <laughs> Put it on his compilation. Put it on the compilation. Who shit's what going on? Is my it just tape. you on that song? Yeah, it's a solo song. Huh. Shit just hard as hell. <laughs> he done took my song. Who produced that one? Um his name Twisted Genius. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. he was hard. Twisted Genius, he hard as fuck. Yeah, he's hard. Yeah. yeah. He got that old Atlanta feel to their music. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, we make some good music together. Yeah, yeah. 
he just done took my song. I'm going to put it on combination. Song too hard, my lord, I got to have it. Bro, you don't have to have my song. You could just told me to go make your song, bro. You motherfucker just hard. <laughs> you want to take it. Yeah. See, you still got the street mentality to like taking shit. <laughs> <laughs> got to get on them about that. <laughs> yeah, and that project man, drops uh, next Friday, right? The 16th? Yeah, 16th. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. All right, Marlo, anything else you want to add? Hey, man. I just need y'all to check, check the kid out. He's finna go crazy. He's finna be here for a fucking long time. Don't slip on this shit. <laughs>